Human error is a major contributing factor in motor vehicle accidents. So no matter how safe a vehicle is, one thing manufacturers can't control is driver error. Or can they? In this tech tip, I'm going to introduce you to the classifications or levels of Advanced Driver Assist Systems, or ADAS. ADAS actually refers to a variety of systems, but they all help the driver identify and respond to hazards with different levels of automated intervention. To make sure we're all speaking the same language, in 2014, the Society of Automotive Engineers, or SAE, released a universal set of standards for classifying advanced driver assist systems. The standard designates specific levels of driving automation. Level zero to two are considered driver support features, while levels three to five are classified as automated driving systems. Level zero features are limited to providing alerts, such as lane departure warning, for example. Level 1 driver assistance provides support to one system, being brakes, or steering, or throttle, but not two at the same time. Once you reach level 2, the systems are now assuming a higher level of vehicle control. Steering, speed, and braking can all be controlled autonomously, though only under certain conditions and with full driver supervision. Once we move to level 3, we're now talking about automated driving features. So according to the SAE, you are not driving when these systems are engaged. Level four vehicles can operate without a driver under limited conditions. The mining industry has had driverless mine trucks for some years, and you may have seen driverless buses on trial. Level five vehicles can operate in any conditions without a driver. We're just not quite there yet. So in summary, the SAE J3016 is a universal classification system to help standardise advanced driver assistance technology. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Or if you'd like access to our full Autodata training library, why not get a subscription today?